Hey guys, I am Kyle and in today's video, I am going to show you a walkthrough on how you can use Noom for beginners. Alright, so now here we are on Noom and first things first that I want to tell you is that you can download Noom in the App Store if you are on iOS and in the Play Store if you are in Android. So the first thing that you will see once you open Noom right here, as you can see, it says personalize your Noom plan. So this means that you would need to answer some interview questions in order for Noom to be able to create a personalized fit plan for you so that you can take the best course of action into getting your dream body or your goal weight. But this is just a fast forwarded video and the questions right here is just really about your personal details. So we will not be going through all of that right here but i just wanted to show you that you will be uh, prompted with these questions right here when you start with new right here so we're just gonna skip on this one and just assume that you have finished this answering your personal details right here on the demographic profile all right so now once you are done answering all the demographic profile on Noom, you will be prompted here into their home page so this is the home page right here and i'll be showing you all the essential things right here that you should know about the Noom features right here so that you can effectively use Noom and incorporate it into your lifestyle very effectively. So the first thing is that I want to share to you the today's lesson right here. So as you can see, we have a lot of lessons right here. Then I suggest that you partake in the lessons right here because they are very important so that you would uh, know about the things that you would need to know about Noom. So this is basically a more detailed explanation. So in this video is more of like a walkthrough of just an overview maybe of Noom, of its features and how to use it and so on right here. But this one is a more detailed one. And then the next thing is at the bottom, you can see your today's progress. So from here, you have your weekly commitment. Then I suggest that you go and uh, have a commitment for yourself weekly. And from here, you can achieve your goals depending on what you want. So if you can't find the commitment that you want right here, you can just uh, type it out right here on what you would like. So in my case, I'll just select uh, one of this from here and I'll just select this week, I'll walk 30,000 steps, for example, and tap on next. And from here, so that you can proceed to your weekly commitment, you would need to share it right here. And you can choose your background right here. So you can share this just for accountability right here. So you can share it by tapping on the share button. But in my case, I'll not proceed right here. But if in your case, you would want a commitment, then you can proceed by tapping on the share button right there. And then the next one is that we have this button. So it is the track more progress button. So from here, you can track more progress by tapping on that. And then from here, you have a lot of things that you can add into your daily progress. So for example, you have your lessons right here, which is this one. And then the next one is when you tap on it again, you can see the weight right here. So for example, you have noticed that you have changed weight today. So you can set your weight right here. You can have your units. You can go for pounds, kilograms, or stones right here depending on what you want so in my case let's just go for kilograms and let's say in at this day i am currently at uh, 76 just for an example maybe at 75 right here in the middle and then i'm gonna log this as 75.3 kilograms so tap on the button right there and now as you can see i have now logged this and now this will be saved into the graph and i can see it right here so I can see the graph right here of my weight uh, or my record is right here. So this is the graph right here. So my goal right here is 70 kilograms. So yeah, as you can see it right here on your progress graph or chart right here. And then the next one is we're going to tap on the bottom again. And then from here, we're going to go into meals. So I think this is a really good feature on Noom right here because you would be able to monitor your uh, meal intake right here or your food intake. So the first one, so let's say we ate breakfast. We will not be um, going through each one of them because they are basically the same thing. So from here, we can search for our food that we ate. So for example, at breakfast, we ate pancakes. So you can click or tap on pancakes right here. And then from here, you can select the serving right here. So half pancake, I have a whole pancake. I have a whole and half pancake or two pancakes right here. You can even go for other units if you would like and you can go here and when you tap on that button. So let's do it again. 
right here easy units so this will be it when you tap here on the other units at the bottom right you can see it right here in the ruler and you can go for more servings if you would like or more precise way of uh, of making your measurements accurate right there and then the next thing is that as you can see right here at the top left it says yellow food so you will know later on on what is yellow food right here we'll be discussing the color uh, the, mean, the meanings of colors right here on the foods so yeah you can just take note right here that you are seeing yellow food at the top left and then once you're done you wanna select your measurements and then from here now you can see that there is a one at the done at the top right so that means that the number of items that you have added into your breakfast so let's say we also had coffee so I'm gonna add coffee and I'm gonna go for one cup right there I'm gonna tap on done and then I can see everything right here that I will be adding to my breakfast record for the day so I can go and save this dish if you would want to so that you would have this as a template but in my case I will not and then I will tap on done since I'm done adding everything and now as you can see you have now successfully created a record for today's breakfast right here and as you can see you have successfully logged your meals and then the next thing is you can track more progress and then you can go for water intake this time and from here you can add a glass right here each glass so you can just tap on this button to add more glass right here you can add more and more and more or you can delete this by tapping on the blue glass right there and you can add more just like that and that is basically it it's very simple and once you're done you can tap on done and you can just always come back to it if once you drank water and you want to add a glass and so on and the next one is track more progress you can go for movement right here so from here is the uh, physical activities that you have done for today so you can tap on add activity and you can select the activity that you have and the um and the activities right here is varied uh, greatly right here so you can just go for let's back let's go back right here and then you can see a lot of activities right here and you have your walking treadmill walk running treadmill run and so on right here so all you have to do is select one of them so for example i did badminton so in my case i'll just go for this one right here it is important that you set the time on how much time you have spent with playing badminton so let's say i spent about 30 minutes or 35 minutes and then the intensity you can see the intensity uh, legends right here so you can see that the low intensity is easy breathing and little sweat and that the medium intensity is quicker breaths moderate sweat and then the high intensity is heavy breathing lots of sweat so depending on the intensity of your uh, uh, activity then you can select it right here so in my case i'll just go for a medium one right here and tap on save and now that it's done now i can select more uh, progress that i can track so the next thing is that mood so this is a, also great way in how you can track your mental health or in this way when you have a record of your moods you would be able to see which time you are currently moody or whatsoever right here and you can uh, uh, see the record of your moods and see which or how you can improve your moods right here because later on when you select your mood so for example i would like to uh, go for a pleasant mood right here i want to tap on done and then you would need to uh, provide specific details on why you are uh, feeling this way right here so you can go for work right here some templates but if you don't have it right here then you can go for specific details right here so for example uh, i ate a lot maybe just like that and tap on done once you're done and then you would be able to see your mood graph right here once you are done uh, typing in your mood right there so yeah you could see this one and then the next thing is that we're done with the progress right here with the all tools right here that we are tracking so then the next thing is this one right here at the left side at the left top left button so you can see it right here you have your messages which is basically the same as right here so when you tap on messages it's basically the same right here at the top right button of the message icon and then the next one is my progress so you can see all of your progress right here especially the weight so from here as you can see this is the graph that I am currently having right here and then the next one is the commitments right here that you have and as you can see since I didn't proceed with my commitments earlier I don't have any commitments to show right here but this is basically where you can see your commitments and then the next thing is that you can have your food lookup right here so as you can see I have mentioned earlier that you would be able to know the food 
uh, color meanings right here so the green one is essentially the foods that you would want to eat a lot and then the yellow one is essentially the list of food that you would want to eat moderately right here so it is all color coded and the and the orange one is basically the foods that you can still eat but i suggest that you limit yourself with that right here because it is in the orange food list right here and as you can see there is a tip at uh, above it says that you should aim to have 30 percent green food 45 percent yellow food and 25 orange food in your diet so that is an idea for you on how you can uh, divide your diet into the healthy green foods and the yellow and orange foods right here and then the next one is right here so let's go back right here and from here we're gonna go with the recipes right here so right now in the recipes we have a lot of recipes right here available in our new app and as you can see right here in the foods we have a lot of recipes available for you to try and as you can see you can see the color coding of each recipes right here so for example we would want meat right here and as you can see it is 82 percent green and uh shrimp biryani so let's say we want that so you want to tap on it so yet so that you can know more about these details right here and you can see its ingredients and you can see the directions and how you can make it right here and then uh, right here you can see the graph of its color coding right here and as you can see it's eight 92 percent green and eight percent orange right there so you can see basically here the even the nutrition facts on the calories intake right there and then you can log this recipe if you have made this and you can incorporate it into your day uh, meal right here for example you have this for lunch then you can go for lunch and then you can go for the servings and then you can log it right there and then you have successfully logged it by tapping on done right there and as you can see that is it so yeah that is basically that for the recipes and then you could go for the saved lessons if you have saved some lessons right here in the Noom app which you think is uh, really valuable for you then you can go here in the saved lessons so that you can view them when you mark them as favorites maybe yeah and then you have the cars map right here so this is basically the same thing that I have shown you earlier which is this button right here beside the messaging icon and then the next thing is the settings right here so you have your settings for uh, your app and then from here you can connect your devices so if you have your health devices as, uh, such as Apple smartwatch or Fitbit then you can just um, you can just incorporate it into the app right here by using here in the settings so you can connect your Fitbit or you have uh, other devices right here so you this is the list of the other devices so you have a lot of options in terms of other devices right here so you can see it all right here by tapping on the connect other devices button right here and you can see your account settings right here and so on and then the next thing is the help button so this is basically the same thing right here in the chat one so this is for your faqs in which you are chatting with a bot but if you need a live agent then you can contact live agent right here by tapping on this button right here and then the next one is a referral friend so Noom also has a referral system that you can use in order for you to give 200 ff to each friend who signs up so this might be a better way in order for you to uh, invite your friend into having the Noom lifestyle with you right here so you would have a companion so that is basically it for the beginner's guide i hope this video helped you out thank you for watching